Testing for chlorine as liquid bleach, featuring Taylor's K1579. Who should use this kit? Chlorine is a powerful oxidizer, sanitizer, and bleaching agent commonly used in commercial, industrial, and water utility operations. Chlorine treatment programs can be in the form of a gas, as a dry formulation, or as a liquid. The liquid form is created by reacting chlorine with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium hypochlorite, or liquid bleach. As a bleach, chlorine's most important use is in the manufacture of paper and cloth. Sodium hypochlorite, however, is chemically unstable. It degrades rapidly, even faster when exposed to heat and light. As a result, it loses strength, and more is required to achieve the desired result. If you purchase liquid bleach in bulk, it is wise to test it at the time of delivery to be certain you're getting the strength chlorine you paid for. Routine testing of bleach that is stored is also recommended. The drop test employed in Taylor's K1579 incorporates an iodine starch titration, and the endpoint is easy to recognize as the water sample changes from blue to colorless. No color matching is required. Other oxidizers, such as bromine or ozone, may cause positive interference. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit is newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. Today we'll be demonstrating the test for bleach solutions of 0.1 to 15%. Select the size sample you prefer, either 0.5 milliliters or 5 milliliters. We'll be using a 0.5 milliliter sample. Add the 0.5 milliliter sample to be tested to the sample tube using 3 milliliter pipette. Dilute to the 10 milliliter mark with distilled, deionized, or tap water. Using the 1 milliliter pipette, add one pipette full, as much as can be drawn up with the bulb, of bleach reagent number one. Swirl to mix. For this demonstration, we are using Taylor Speedster, which is sold separately, but you can always manually swirl the sample. Using the large dipper, add one level dipper of bleach reagent number two. Swirl until dissolved. The sample will turn deep yellow or brown if chlorine is present. Holding the bottle vertically, add bleach reagent number three dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until the color changes from deep yellow or brown to pale yellow. Add 10 drops of starch indicator solution. Swirl to mix. The sample should turn blue. Continue adding bleach reagent number three dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop until the color changes from blue to colorless. Multiply the total number of bleach reagent number three drops used to reach the end point by the desired equivalence factor, in this case, one drop equals 0.5%, and record as percent available chlorine. Note, chlorine concentration is determined as grams per 100 milliliter. For less concentrated solutions, less than 5%, this is approximately equal to the actual percent available chlorine. For concentrated solutions, equal to or greater than 5%, you would divide the answer in the last step by the specific gravity and record as actual percent available chlorine. For example, if 15% available chlorine is calculated in the last step and the specific gravity is 1.3, the actual percent available chlorine is 11.5% by weight.
Taylor manufactures two combination test kits that include the same bleach test as the K1579, K1615, K1616. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.